Well, there's a bear in the air, and he's got new technology to find bad guys or missing persons. Marion County Sheriff's deputies offered free training to aviation units today. Safety units from across the area came out to get a crash course on a tracking system similar to what the military uses. TV 20's Nico Clements reports because of recent national events, deputies say this technology is worth it. Years ago, law enforcement used maps to get to a particular location. They later upgraded to use GPS. The U.S. grid technology takes search and rescue a step further. I think in the long run it'll help people out. U.S. National Grid is both a point and area grid reference system. Its function is equivalent to the military grid reference system, which is in use by all branches of the military. We realized that the first responders were not quite communicating on the same level as far as locations and things of that nature. We decided to push this forward to use the latest technology, which is this U.S. grid. Back in early March, Tabitha Elliott and her three children were stranded in the Ocala National Forest. Coordinates deputies had on the ground didn't sync with some helicopter pilots in the air. Different helicopters use multiple GPS systems formatted in its computers. With the one type of U.S. national grid, it improves communication on the ground and in the air. Air. It puts everyone on the same page. If one of your relatives has Alzheimer's and living with that condition happens to wander off, you tell us where you last saw that person, we're able to use this U.S. grid technology to isolate that area and start that search from that particular location. During Hurricane Katrina, FEMA, the law enforcement agencies, and the ambulance services on the ground had a difficult time communicating with each other. The National Grid Initiative is really to try and enable better communication for all of those response services in the event of, especially here in Florida, when you're dealing with hurricanes and, and events of that nature. The 70 professionals at the training hope to bring back information they receive to their respective counties' units and get everyone on board. I, th I think anytime you can get some quality training that, every you know, it's worth it. Judge Cochran says they plan on hosting a full-scale training session later on this year using the U.S. National Grid technology and training they received today. Reporting in Marion County, Nico Clements, TV20 News.